Hello, my name is Achilles. I'm a solutions engineer at Vercata, and this video will cover the software setup of a Vercata camera installation. If you have not deployed a Vercata device before, you will need to create an organization in Vercata Command, our cloud-based platform. Refer to our video on creating an organization in Command, which is linked to the description, to get your org set up. Now start by logging into your Command account. To add your first camera, click the Product menu and select Add Devices. You can use the device's serial number, the Vercata order number, the QR code on the device, or a CSV file with a list of serial numbers. Select if you want to update the camera firmware immediately or schedule it for later. This will get you to the Devices page. Make sure the device you're adding is selected and click Setup. This will prompt you to select a site, a grouping of cameras, or create a new one, and then choose the location of your camera. In the camera settings, you have the option to start with the default settings or copy settings from an existing camera. Here, you can enable camera audio, cloud backup, or low bandwidth mode if there's a concern for the available bandwidth at the site. Since this is your first camera, all analytics options are grayed out until you enable them at an org-wide level from the admin page. You also have the option to select the camera codec. We recommend H.265, but also support H.264 for legacy viewing clients. For more details on camera codecs, see the knowledge-based article that's linked to the description. When you're done, hit Apply. Now from the Product menu, select Cameras and then choose your newly added camera. Then click Settings. From here, you can control all the camera settings, including scheduling firmware updates to happen at a time when your site bandwidth utilization is low, accessing the audit log for the device, and modifying the high-quality video bitrate. Keep in mind, separate storage is allocated for standard quality and high quality video. Standard quality video retention is standard and guaranteed 24 7 for the days of retention set above. High quality video is only saved when there is motion, and its retention depends on the amount of motion the camera sees and the selected high quality bitrate. The higher the bitrate, or the amount of motion, the faster the allocated storage fills up, resulting in fewer days of high quality video. That's a trade-off to consider. You can read our white paper on adaptive quality recording to learn more. Next, change the orientation of the camera as needed. There are several other settings here which depend on your application. Time-lapse of 24-hour periods for up to 30 days. RTSP, if you plan to stream to third-party software or hardware over the local network. A toggle to disable the camera LED. Camera IP if you want to switch to a static IP after the camera comes online. And tamper events for which the sensitivity is set to high by default but can be adjusted from this drop-down menu. The data storage location can also be adjusted here and you can use privacy regions to mark part of the feed and exclude it from being recorded if it contains sensitive or private content. Finally, Go ahead and enable all the analytics that pertain to your camera's intended use while respecting your organization's internal policy and, of course, local laws and regulations. To learn more about the various camera analytics options, see the Enabling Analytics on Cameras video linked to the description. Once you're done adjusting the settings, click Done. If your camera is connected, it should start streaming now and soon you'll have enough data to run historical or live search using the tabs below. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.